All right, here we go. Let's see how long it take the room to load up, y'all. Y'all should be right back. Should nobody have gone nowhere. It's work to do today. You said you have work to do? Yeah. I need to clean this house up. I know this place mm -hmm. looking a mess. Hot mess. But what we think is a mess is not really a mess. Kind of does not know. I know. We gotta get our life together. Get our life Royce together. Royce is coming. Can we talk about my baby coming back in two weeks, done with his first year at Howard? Well, you gotta wait till 100 people get in the room. That's the old. Yeah, they'll be here in a second. Okay. Before you get the conversation really popping, let 100 get in. There. But that's just me. You can go ahead. But, babe, you know, I need you know, so much from you. Are you going to DC to do that thing? I don't know yet. I keep hitting this dude up. But even if I don't go for that, I'm still gonna go to help Royce get his stuff together. Okay, because he's done May 1st. His last exam is May 1st. That's crazy. You know, I did talk to Royce yesterday. All well, good for you. I'm just saying, I know. And what did you saying I'm up to speed and he and I are on the same page. Okay. I had to help him get that recommendation done. Oh, You know, okay. DJ wrote him up. Oh, good Did he one. tell you? No. Yeah. Well, he, t he asked me for DJ's number. Oh, okay. And Lena's. Ew. So. Oh, I ain't tell you something, too. Oh. Good. I could tell you. I could tell you. I could tell you. We could talk about it on this. Okay, make. well, you got half hour, boo. You know. Okay, let me get my stuff. I got to go to work. Okay, go to work. Go. go to work. Go to work. It's my last day work. for the week. It's Friday. They sprung it on us that we have to work next Saturday due to actors' availability. This joker done booked a new show. Now we can only get him on the weekends. It never fails. At the end, you know, just like me, I'm looking for my next gig or whatever. I've already got my next gig. But what I'm saying is yeah, they, job. they do what we do. And now he done booked something. So he's only available on the weekend. So they had sent out a letter two weeks ago because we was like, please, just don't let us have to work on the weekend. So all the grips, everybody was talking. We're going to have to work a Saturday. So they wrote us a letter to calm us down. Look. We know there's a lot of buzz that you're going to have to work on Saturdays, but we're here to assure you, no Saturday. Everybody was like, yes, yeah, especially Cinco de Mayo. They were like, look, I don't care what's going on. I am not working on Saturday, Cinco de Mayo. So guess what? We're not working Friday, I mean, Saturday on Cinco de Mayo. We're working on the 28th. So they got us the week before, which is next week. So next week, I'm working six days straight. I get no Saturday. Like, I'm trying to have yard sales and get rid of this shit whatever so now we're working i worked straight to like may 11th or something like that we were supposed to be done april 28th really but that's what happens some actors got sick so that's another day then something else happened that's another day so all these makeup days on top of this huge last episode i, I was like really i wish we would have shot this first it is huge it's so much involved but it is what it is. We're going to get it done. Um, let me know what that was. Um, so my baby, back to Royce. He is. He did a year. I'm crying and carrying on and writing him an open letter and all of this. One year is done. He's back in two weeks. I'm like, what? He was home how many times? Three or four? It's really... so. I, I didn't really need to fret, which I didn't know because the truth of the matter is they come back so often. We dropped him off in August. He was back in October. He came back in November. He was back in December for Christmas. Then he came back for spring break. Feels like he never left. It just feels like he's away on a trip, you know, like he just went somewhere and he just coming back. So long story short, he's back May 1st. Well, his last day is May 1st. Um, so I got to get his room ready, you know, because we just have that as a closet. I got all my rolling racks and clothes in there. Um, so I need to clean that out and do some other things. But my baby's back. But he's back, but not back because he is looking for an internship. So anybody knows some great internships he can apply for? I think he's just applied for two. Because he, it's not free time. You don't, you're not a college student and come home and chill and go to the beach. No, your summers are supposed to be working in the field that you are um, 
your major and go out there and test the waters and get familiar. So when you, you know, you go back fresh um, the next school year, I do have a, a trip plan. We are going away in August. That has finally been locked in and paid for like, thank you, Jesus. So he's going to be excited about that. Um, we're taking a trip in May. I think it's only going to be one. It may be two. Um, yeah, probably two. Yeah, two. So I, I don't think. Wait to hit me back. Okay. Um, so I have something to look forward to. So I can't wait to finish May 11. But um, I just decided that I think I want to have a moving sale. Like put up posters to say moving sale. So I can get more people coming to my sale thinking, oh, they need to get rid of this stuff. I do. I'm not going to charge them anymore. I just want to get rid of this stuff. If I put yard sale, reluctant. Moving sale, they like, oh, shit. They going to take whatever. I'm going to take whatever at a yard sale. I just want this Wait, stuff out of here. Moving sale? Yeah, I'm going to say that on the post. That's false advertising. That's okay. No, you can't do that. I can Wow. You know how many move-in sales I went to? That's like and those, they don't move? That's like, like those businesses in Times Square that put everything must go, going out of business. And never And closed. you go five years later and there's the same goddamn <laughs> sign. They like, we changed our mind. It's none of their business. So I have to do that. I just don't, it's not enough time. I'm always talking about the same thing. And it's always time. Time. Money, you can get that time. Because if you make the money, you still got to have time to use it, to enjoy it. I'm finding that to be a struggle. You know, I, I, I don't even go shopping. I have no time. I got extra money that I could spend dying to spend. I don't have time. Can you give me some money for some gym clothes? I, okay. Can you give me, you got extra money. I don't have extra Listen, money. Can I get some money for some gym clothes since you, I'm glad you said that. Royale wears, I don't understand. I, he wears the, his, he's fashion challenge. I'm going to say that because he wears the same kind of stuff to the gym. And I keep telling him, I said, babe, that's not hot. I don't want him to go out there and be attract, you know, well, well attract ahead. the little honeys. But what I'm saying, act like you're going to the gym to get on the treadmill. Like, get some great Nike shoes. Get the, you know, up-to-date gym clothing. He wears flare legs, uh, what are they, gray sweatpants, drawstring. He just looks a hot mess, and I. But told you him. should enjoy that. That's that should be the. No, I you want would you think to look that like you should want me to go to the babe, gym that way, so that I'm not attracting anything. Listen, I'm not. I want you to look your best. You know, now if you want to go out there and attract somebody, or they're attracted because of the way you look, I can't stop it. What I'm saying is always shoot for your best. You look a hot mess going out there. I've been telling you for years. I have thrown away pants. I know he's like, where are they? Because I, I, I just sneak and throw one away, one away. And you know what he does? He goes back to the store and buys the same type. I'm like, I thought I threw that away. I'm a creature of habit. But it looks a mess. And when he went, I didn't even know he was going to the gym yesterday when Kevin saw him. Because he had on this hoodie that looked like he might be going to a business meeting and some like crazy looking shorts. I was like, nah, he going to the grocery store. He went to the gym, happened to bump into Kevin Hart. And the first words out of Kevin's mouth was, first, we got to get you some gym clothes. I laughed the entire day. Everybody at my job looked at it. They were like, and they followed me. So they came up to me and they were like, can you get your husband some gym clothes? I was so embarrassed. First thing he said, because I tell him, images, everything. I'm like, babe, you have to do better. I know we can't ball out of control and get you, you know, 10 pair the hottest or whatever but what you can do <coughs> is go out there go to the um outlet there's a nike outlet let's go out there and get you some stuff like you need a starter kit you need to look listen, the part listen here's the thing i don't care people going to the gym you used to just be able to go to the gym and work out right People go to the gym out here, especially these exclusive gyms. Let me get my car. And it's a fashion show. Like, you literally got to show up to the gym. No, no, of course. Um, You got to show up to the gym dressed up. Babe, we're not saying dressed up. What we're saying is don't look like you're going to a cookout. You look like you were going to a cookout. Yo, I'm there. And I didn't look like I was like, okay, so Kevin Be obviously honest. is clowning. No, I had on a nice 
outfit to work out in. Trust they me. No, it looked like you were going to a picnic. You look like you were going to a picnic. No, I just need to buy some new some new workout gear. That's it. Period. Yeah. Because but now what's happening is the radar is on me a little bit because now you know this gym that I go to, there's people there paying attention, and people are conscious of what you have on. People notice what you have on. People notice what you have on. Anyway. Show up in a three piece suit. <laughs> you hilarious. know, it, it doesn't matter. When you go to whatever gym, 24 Fitness, whatever, you, people are noticing. I didn't put a whole lot, though. Um, okay. Is that handle hot? Yeah, okay. What, you want a half of them? Yeah, do a half. Um, so I say that to say, okay, that's good. You sure? It looks kind of dark. Huh? That's good. So <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah, you have to do better. So now Kevin doesn't said it. So, for those of you that didn't didn't see the video, it's on my page. It's on April's page. Instagram page. I went to the it. gym and bumped into Kevin Hart. And I said, Kevin, would you train me? He's like, I'm going to train you for 65 days. and uh, But he's like, we got to get you some gym clothes. The first thing he said. <laughs> like, we got to get you some gym unrehearsed clothes. Unrehearsed or whatever. And you know Kevin. Kevin went in for the kill. He's like, yeah, um, first thing we're going to need to do is get you some gym clothes. Good night. Goodbye. I said, Royale, why would you give that to him? You handed that nothing. joke to him on the platter. <laughs> he couldn't wait to say that. And you didn't know. You were like, okay. I, ain't, I, I didn't <laughs> see that coming at all. I will say that. Royale got, he was like, okay, that's not what we were wait, talking about. Oh, on. wait a we minute, didn't wait a minute. That. He got Royale with his mouth Here's open. the thing. These damn comedians be on roast time 24-7. <laughs> 24 7 is like that's all they do is roast and crack on you and i'm just like i'm a grown-ass man that comics. i don't do I that it. i don't do that no more right so like what i realized is that you gotta stay ready you gotta stay ready to roast back because that's mouth what, open it yo, was hilarious and then it's crazy because the universe last night had me hosting a roast of chris spencer so is the universe saying okay you know, Kevin, did you like that? Now, you're going to start roasting people again. So, trust me, anybody can get it now. That's, anybody can get it now. But you got to be, okay, the people that are roasting know they shit is tight. So, whatever you can get on them is something they may have overlooked or whatever. They gears try tight. They jokes is on point. Whatever. The car is hot and washed and clean. Like, you can't go roasting if your shit is a hot mess. So, that's all I'm saying. Get your gear up. Before even if you're you a hot mess, nah, <laughs> even if you're a hot mess, you just got to be ready to roast back, Oh, period. my God. I'm like, not my baby. My poor baby. So, getting past that, we are going to have to, you know what? I have Saturday and Sunday. Don't have a lot on the books. Let's go out to the outlet. Let's get you a couple of pieces. I even need a couple, but I, I'm in my Lulu uh, lemon stuff. I got my shit. My shit is tight, crisscross. I look like I'm going to work out. I do yoga, so I got my yoga gear on point. When I go out, I look like I'm going to do yoga, you know? Because afterwards, what happens, you go get a smoothie, you go get this. I can't be looking raggedy going in somewhere to go get a smoothie or whatever. So image is everything, and we're out here in L.A., and I think for me as a woman, I've already been caught out there a million. When we first moved out here, I used to look crazy. You know, I had a baby. I was pregnant. And I'll be in a grocery store, just minding my business, never fail, run into Bill Bellamy, this one, that one. Oh, I'm like, let me tell you something. oh my God, I'm in Ralph's. I'm yes. just trying to get some eggs. You know There's what I mean? Nothing worse. Home Depot. Into. You see, uh, who we were at um, Home Depot. Who was in there? Tony Braxton. Everybody. We live in a city. We're all actors. What everybody's. There is in the business. That's in the business. So I'm saying. You can't just go out like you sneaking because the time you try and sneak and don't look put together. And I'm not saying you got to have a full thing of makeup. Just look presentable because you're going to bump into some people and they're going to be like, huh, she was looking Yeah, And crazy. the reality is they judge you, right? They and it's their ability. Their, your ability to do more work with them, honestly, will be decided by how they feel about what they see, right? So... If you pull up in a Fred Sanford truck to lunch <laughs> and they hear, bum, 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 they go like, he doesn't look like success. 
So why should I want to do more business with him? That doesn't look like... And it's kind of crazy, and I think it's superficial. It is. you have Bill Gates that wears the same shirt, pair khakis, same whatever. He's a billionaire. I get it. But it's it's a slippery slope. It's a catch-22. I, for me, I'm going to go the route where I look presentable. I'm not trying to go all out, get my hair weaved. And that's great. I just, I'm tired of sitting and getting my hair weaved. So I'm going to do this where I can put up, put down, go to the gym and do whatever for me. Because when I came out here, my hair was dope. I cut it short and then I went to the top person out here, forgot her name. God dang it. My hair used to be flat, but with a baby taking a shower, trying to work out two days later, my hair is a wreck. See, hold on. But people saying that's superficial, right? Of course. it may be superficial. Um, I understand. But again, too, who's that said that? Like, you have no, these I, comments, I said too. Like, no, no, no. I'm just saying. So, Dan Williams, like, is like, right? They assume you fell off. Like, they see you a certain way and they assume you fell off. So, it's like, I don't know if I want to be a part of. People want to be a part but of But here's what's the hot. thing. If you have millions and millions of dollars and don't give up. It don't up, make a difference, right? It don't then matter. you go out there looking crazy. Right. But while you Purposely. on your grind, having these meetings, building up, getting your resume, trying to get out there to get on certain things, you can't look crazy. I don't care what you say. Because people judge you from the first moment they see you. Image you is look everything. Like success. You my opinion, look like- I'm out here. I done got caught with my mouth open. And not to say I don't sneak out and just look crazy sometimes. Mouth open. Shut up. <laughs> you know, I do. And when you I get home, I'm like, hallelujah, nobody saw me. You know what I mean? It's a lot of pressure. I'm telling you, it's a lot of pressure. What I got on today, simple. You know, what I'm saying is don't go out there in your pajama bottoms with some crazy slippers and think you're going in the Home Depot to get a light bulb because I promise you, you're going to see the someone you would have never imagined in Home Depot. It has happened time after time. It just almost happened because when we ran into Jamie Foxx, I looked at what I had on. I told Royale. Over to the table. I, I like, got I off on Friday shorts. three weeks ago. I Damn. said, Royale. <laughs> Meet me at this restaurant. It stays open late. They got good music, and I want a cocktail, and I worked hard. He, usually he fight me. You sure you want that? Why are we going there? Are you, I said, listen, dude, that's where I'm going. Meet me if you want to. We got in there, had my little drink, had my salad. He got his lobster ravioli. Who walks in? Hand to God, Jamie Foxx walked in. You just never know. We're in the city surrounded by all our peers, all our friends, all our, you know, in Royale's genre. They're here. So, and we look great. You know, I had just got off of work. I put on my little lipstick, you know, because I knew where we were going. I was like, hmm, may need to freshen up before we get there. He was already at work. He looked presentable. And they wound up talking for a half hour. I'm sitting there, half hour, he's talking to him. So I say that to say, you never know. And all I'm saying is be on guard. I'm not going to be tore down to be tore down to be, um, what's this, you know, like, I don't care what people say, whatever. Mm, I kind of do care. I don't, it's not the end all be all, but I know I want to look presentable. I'm not just going to go out there and look crazy. I'm in the industry. Oh, that looked too light. It does look light. Damn it. You're going to be all right. Made the coffee too light, you know? So I choose to make sure that I'm on point. 100% 100% of the time, it's never going to happen. Yeah, just as but long as when you look I presentable. Can, that's what I say, Michelle Murray. As long as you look presentable. Presentable. And that's a cute little t-shirt, little tank top, cute little pair of jeans, your little sneakers, little makeup, you know, get my glasses on and go to the grocery that. store. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go in my crazy looking pajama bottoms like I see people. I don't know why California is like number one for pajama bottoms. It's more people running around with their pajama if bottoms. If it ain't pajama bottoms, it's them damn leggings. Oh, my God. Not that going thought, thought wear. Yeah, I don't know. So, that's all I'm saying. So, I want my husband, because he is my husband, I want him to be on point. And if it just takes a little, it's not good. Listen, let me tell you something. That Pete's Big Bang, you just can't go on I love with Pete's. It. Oh, my God. Oh, it's perfect. That's what I said. Hallelujah. Um, he's my husband. I know what I want him to, to look like. You know, so I ain't going to spend a million dollars. I'm just going to put a couple of things together and make sure when he goes out into the universe, he feels good. I feel good. And if he runs into anybody or not, 
I want to look good. There's no reason why you shouldn't. I wish I had more stuff, but I can't afford it because I can't afford it right now. Not with Royce flying back and forth, airline tickets. Ross is in school. He's getting ready to graduate. He's taking a big trip to Europe in January. Like, money come in. Ooh. And when I say money go out, my money land in my bank account and be like, okay, nice to see you. And it blows up. It's like, as soon as that money comes out, the bill be like, stick. (laughs) Last night while Royale was asleep, I paid the gas bill, put something on the fucking DWP, uh, paying the cable. I'm like, God damn, uh, Verizon bill. I'm like, can I just see it sit there? I never see my money just like sit. What's up? You hit, um, I got my thumbprint for my bank account, open it and I'm all happy. Until five days later, it's like, we're gone. I'm like, oh my God. So I say that to say, there's a lot of stuff I want in my wardrobe, in my closet that I'm not able to do. But, so I just go the simple route. I buy basic things, mix and match. When I go out, I have a couple of pieces that, again, I mix and match. And I do the best that I can, only because I have kids. And they come first. But I do want Wait, this. So you said you a basic chick. <laughs> I'm not basic. basic. No, my clothes might no, be basic, basic, but games. I'm not basic. No, but that's good. That's um, the new basic chick. The new basic it's just, chick. It's a lot. It sound like something. But I think Royale has learned his lesson, and he will be more inclined better. to when I say let's go get a couple of pieces. He, I don't want to spend no money. I was like. You know I don't what? like spending money. No, that's why I want to have these I yard am. sales. Well, I want to get rid of. Paper, I want to sell what we can sell and keep some of the good stuff. You know what I mean? I don't want to drive up to Goodwill and just drop off some good shit. I got some good shit. You know what I mean? I, my sister went out last week. I sent her with a bag of stuff and they bought three quarters of the bag. You know, we hit some thrift stores that... um that give you money for your clothing. And that was just a small bag that I could get together. She came back. I was able to pay her and still have money in my pocket. That's a win-win because usually I'll take that bag and say, go drop drop it off at um, Goodwill and you get zero. Yes, you get the little form and you get to write it off. I want my money in my hand right now. Don't be telling me for taxes next year. No, thank you. I want what I can get right now. So that's what I'm in the process of doing is getting her. Lord, babe, I'm going to need a bite. Nah, How come you need it off nah, of me? because you're not doing this. What time is it? Let me it? tell y'all right now. You see this little plate right here? So let me put I got a one Belgian in. waffle. Okay. I got a veggie sausage. Ooh. And I got a fried egg. I'm about so to you put gonna, me on it. You go ahead on. Keep keep talking. How much, how much time show. do I put my own? That thing ain't going to take but three, four minutes. Uh, Thanks, uh, uh, uh. I'm going to make me an egg, too. I watched you what too. What you doing? Go on to the keep keep running that keep talking. You you didn't even take a breath since you sat down. Babe, you done made me hungry. I wasn't even hungry. Mm-hmm. Let me get me an egg. That's okay. two eggs. I'm gonna do two. Okay, hold on. So can you can get paid for your good stuff. Yeah. I know. Again, it takes time. There's offer up, Craigslist, eBay. The um, thrift stores around Consignment us, store. which is consignment stores and thrift stores around us, it takes time for me to sift it. I can't go. I only, again, maybe I'll get a Saturday off. Who knows? So then I have to pay somebody. Thank God I got somebody on deck. I got to pay her to go out there and do the work. And, you know, then I got to pay her for the work on top of, you know, everything else. So I don't have the time Listen, again. can you stop for a second? Just for a second. Oh, that's good. Seriously, just take a breath for a second. Hey, I can leave and you can do this. Let me talk while I'm here because once I'm gone, that's it, bro. No, I'm just saying catch your breath. I always talk like that. No, you don't. I do. Uh -uh. Where's my spatula? So, it's a lot. Where's the spatula, baby? I'm just afraid of it. I just had it. I what I do is just smash up. I got it. Oh. So. I'm not quiet. I just got to let April get it, get her stuff up. You she got some things stop, to talk about. I ain't talk. make you talk. I mean, I ain't make you stop. Say what you got to say, boo. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold tight till we're done, cause I want to enjoy my food. I'm not. I'm and if I gotta, 
So this is what I wanted to talk to you about. I went over to a friend of ours house yesterday. He was showing me a, a, a pilot that he created and produced for television. And this is a buddy of mine who's a writer, executive producer, showrunner. So he worked on this pilot. I helped him with some rewrites and pitch some stuff, blah, blah, blah. So now that it was finally done, he asked me to come to his house. He wanted to show me the finished product. Cool. I go. His wife is there. And a, another female writer is there. From she's, she's from, she lives in New York. She flew into town for a couple of meetings. But she was at the house as well. So I come to the house. Um, I greet him. I, April's supposed to be listening to this story. I got to wait for her to come back. And April trying to pretend like she wasn't talking at 200 miles per hour. She was. You! Her eggs are sitting there about to burn. She doing the most right now. Somebody say it with me. Let's go, chef. Did I plan to cook today? My food, yes. And April doesn't. Huh? I'm sitting here talking, thinking you are already flipped. No, my girlfriend um, was outside. Well, you should say watch my food. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, didn't, I, didn't I went in there to check my phone. She said I'm literally outside. You can bring my check out. I All good. Like, oh, Jesus. All good. That's why I'm, I'm paying attention. So, <clears throat> I was telling them that I went over to DJ's house yesterday to watch the pilot. He had a female friend of his in town from New York, and then Young Me, his wife, his wife Young Me was there. So Young Me um, was there. She had just finished working out. I give her a hug, and I watched the pilot. Then she went upstairs while we were watching the pilot to get cleaned up. So as when the pilot was finished, when we finished viewing it, she came back downstairs, uh -huh. and I was leaving because they were getting ready to go to lunch or something. So then I was saying goodbye to DJ. I pound him up, the young lady Robin. I say goodbye to her, give her a hug. And then I go to young me to give her a kiss on the cheek. And she kisses me on the mouth. That's fine. Oh, you just wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. <laughs> so some people kiss on the lips. Byron's wife is like that too. I don't, I'm not ready for people who do that. I don't know. It confuses me. I think it's just like, I don't know how to explain it, but I do it sometimes. You do it to who? To Men? people. Um, yeah. If I love them, like I'll do it to Terrence. I'll do it to Tanji. I'll do it to people I've, I've known for a while. Like I'll do it to DJ. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. I'll do it to females too, all the time. If I love you, like we coming in, we kissing on the lip. All my girlfriends that I love. We kiss like Mwah. it's just a little. Mwah. Yeah, but that's different with men. I don't know. I don't know why I do it to men. I gotta eat my breakfast. We both eating breakfast. Um, you just wasn't ready. No, I definitely Nothing wasn't weird ready. Nothing about it. Yeah, it's a little. I don't know. That means that you're special. Mm. Seriously, she's not doing that with everybody. Your family at that point. It's like kissing your sister. You know, yeah. I don't kiss my sister on the lips. Mm. If a woman kisses kiss me sister. on the lips, if a woman kisses me on the lips, I'm I'm like freaked out. Well, you're not. A big I'm not sister. freaked out. I'm just like, what we doing? Just puts me in a very sexual space. Oh, babe, that's disgusting. How's it disgusting? It's it's platonic. It's just a kiss. It's a pet. It's like Mwah. no, hers wasn't a pet though. Her lip came out and it was. It was more Frenchy. It was, like, no, no, no. it was like for a minute and a half. Be careful what you say. No, no. it's a joke. It wasn't. No, it was very friendly, but still, it's like it just threw me. I don't. I'm so. It doesn't happen. And oh, that's goes Stacy right there. I kiss my sister, right, Stacy? We come in. I see them big juicy lips. I'm like, oh God, stop. Mm -hmm. She said, Stacy said, no, don't listen to her. <laughs> Stacy, you know we kiss on the mouth. That's my on baby. the lips. Don't say the mouth. That just sounds weird. Mm -hmm. That's because y'all got y'all father big soup cooler lips. 
Stacy looks bigger than mom. That's what I'm saying. Y'all get that from your father. I love Stacy Lip. I be like, come here, baby. Mwah. Um. And I'm the big sister kissing the little sister, so it's like yeah, ah. that's different though. That's different. Um. That's different. I kiss Royce on the lips. I kiss Ross on the lips. I kiss Baby on the lips. I kiss on the lips. Okay. I guess it's just a matter of preference. Yeah. Not all the time. It's not like, okay, I got to have the lip. It's how the person comes in, too. So if they not moving, you know, I don't make it awkward. Because I have some friends that, just like you're saying. Stacy said, but she ain't going for anyone kissing you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Huh? But it happens. Yeah, if it happens, it happens. I'm not, but it just again. I was like, whoa, what? What's going? What's going on? I may have to take my car back. Okay. Because I can't be late. Oh my god. Adrian said, "I love your lipstick." Oh, thank you. Wet and wild, cheapy. Love it. Sometimes you will find some cheap lipstick out there that is your best lipstick. I love this one. So. Nikki said, I prefer not to be kissed on the lips. Like, is that in general? Is that some people don't enjoy kissing? Kissing is a lost art form. It sure is. What are you saying? You don't like to kiss. I do. Babe, you do not. Listen, you got to catch me in the right mood, though. I got to be in a kissing mood. You can't say, okay, come, I'm ready to kiss. You got to pour it on me. You can't just be like, I'm ready to kiss. And when he's ready to kiss, I'm so turned, not turned off, but scared. I'm like, I know when I be ready to kiss, you be like, you be like this. It's weird. I'm like, oh my God, would you relax your mouth? Babe, you don't really know how to kiss. What? You kiss okay. It's like, I think he wants to know how to kiss, but he really don't know how to kiss that good. But when I kiss that vagina, then what? We're not talking about that. That's kissing too. No, that's not. Yes, it is. It is not. That's it's lips down there. Hello? Yeah, you don't oh, complain. Magnificent epic. Exactly. <laughs> you don't complain when I'm kissing that monkey. Babe, why you get why you gotta go so graphic all the time? That's why I like talking to you. Everything turns into sex. Not everything. Everything. Nope. Not that everything. Bill. Cast some sex. Yeah, no, I don't say don't that don't put that out there because that's not true. Babe. I'm a very sexual person. I enjoy it. I bet you do. And fortunately, you know. That was good. I got you where you need to be. Finally. I had to teach you a few things. No, you did not. I have ideas. And tell you, look, relax there. Let that go. You're gonna be all right. Do not lie. Babe, I've been with you too long. Stop. Okay. All right. I had to, I had to you ain't learn sure you me. some stuff. Please. I had to open your eyes to a few things. Babe. Come on. Okay. Don't, don't lie to these people now. I'm not lying. Anything you can dish, I can take. Really? Really. Okay. Except for one thing. What? Tell me about it. No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where no. Just tell me, whisper it. Okay, babe, I gotta go. Okay. Okay. So we talk. What did we hit? Royce coming home, kissing on the mouth. On the mouth. On the mouth. With the F. Um. What else? Okay, I tell you what, we're gonna start. I'm practicing. home this weekend. I gotta go find somebody to practice kissing on. So when I come back to you, I can get this thing right. Go ahead. Let me try it. I mean, let me see you try it. <laughs> Let me no, I'm just saying, uh, not in a sexual kind of way, but in a pra like all these basketball teams. You think they play? You think the Lakers play at the Staples Center all the time? No, they got a practice facility. They go down to Carson and run some drills, and then when the cameras is on and you see that thing on TV, then they, you know, then they full speed with the game. I just need a practice facility. So when wow. I come to you, when I come to you, then I'm gonna be like, oh God. Never mind. Go practice. You talking about practice? <laughs> what are we talking about? Practice? We talking about practice? Mm -hmm. We Go talking practice. about practice? I got to ask Stacy. Stacy will tell me. Stacy, yay or nay? 
Stacy do whatever me. he wants. Stacy, yay or nay? I go with what Stacy said. That's my consultant right there. Stacy's ass should be at work somewhere. <laughs> Stacy, <laughs> somewhere at work watching the, her phone. She must be on lunch. No, she ain't on lunch. She gotta be. She has so Stacy, Stacy Howard Franklin, do what the hell she wanna do. <laughs> All right, everybody. I have a job. Oh my God! If we hear that one that more time, that I need to go to. This is now becoming the I'm from Brooklyn, the new I'm yeah, from Brooklyn. Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn, and I have a job, and I can't be late, and I can't. Oh, Stacy says she on lunch. I know it. <laughs> I know she at work. Wait, didn't Stacy used to send us coffee? Yes. That, do you know how long ago that was? I just remember we've she been used to together send us... a long time. If you yeah, remember oh that, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy was working at a company that. I don't know what they did, but they also were a part of Chuck Full of, Chuck full of Nuts. <laughs> I don't know. Was it? Your sister used to be Chuck Full of Nuts. I think it was, but they had gourmet coffee as well because she sent me, didn't she send us a machine and coffee and she did. It was a lot of stuff. I don't remember the name of the coffee. I don't remember the name of the company, but it was like coffee. They were part of Coach because I still got my... Stacy. you know I still got that Coach bag? I'm so glad that I picked that big overnight bag. I still have my overnight bag. That bag... Sarah is, Lee. Sarah Lee. Thank you, Stacy. Sarah Lee, which owned Coach. So I was able to order some stuff. So I ordered that bag. I still have the bag, Stacy. So that bag has to be about 25 years old. Good Lord. And I, it looks... And it's classic. Stacy. I know you're not talking about talking about we old. <laughs> Your <laughs> ass is old, too. Stacy older than me. Ain't she? Who older than me or Stacy? Yes. Her old We're ass. Both older than I yeah. am. Good Lord. Y'all little baby snatchers. <laughs> little baby snatchers. Walking around daycare centers with them little fun size snickers. Like, hey, come here, little boy. Come here. Oh, my God. You stupid. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. We did get a bunch of stuff from Stacy. Then we used to get coffee. And I missed that. But she has moved on. Mm -hmm. Um, What else? Okay. I have a go. calendar for you to look at. We need to figure out our life. I love you guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow and Sunday. Oh, yeah. We got the whole weekend to get some yeah, things done. Yeah, we got the done. whole weekend. So, I got to go. You take Thursday, Friday. Then I'll have it Monday. I just want to die on the weekend. Mm. Okay. Go. All right. It's been real. I'm glad we had this time together. <laughs> hey, just because April says she gone don't mean I'm leaving. I ain't got shit to do today. But clean up this house. Um, You out, sweetie? Yeah. Okay, come here. Give me a kiss before you go. Let's see if she knows what she's doing. Put this thing on her. Oh, you got lipstick on. Okay. All right. Take it easy. Okay. 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 Was it good for you? It was, my God, that was delicious. That tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry. All right. Um, I'll just, just a kiss for the get a room. <laughs> I gotta get that because I ain't getting nothing else with her fourteen hour working ass. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Or swear, if one of my girlfriends following this damn page and see that it's gonna be hell to pay. I got to get back into kissing. It's a lost art form for me. It's a lost art form. But April don't be giving me kisses, so I don't know what she's talking about. Got other people's wives out here kissing on me. Okay. I'm not going to hold y'all. It is 1030. Good Lord. I got work to do today. Um, so, another interesting, fun episode of After I Do. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, 
Oh, I see what it was. We did a coffee cup chronicles first. That's why it's 1030. And then we got into it after I do. So I got to get my kissing skills together. Maybe I have to put up a kissing booth, one of them booths where they charge a dollar. That way I can practice and get this thing right. Come back and give April some of these lips. Um, all right. Y'all have a beautiful, blessed day. Renee, enjoy your lunch. Thanks, sis. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. And we have the whole weekend, so maybe tomorrow, Sunday, uh, I'll be able to grab April again. Uh, I got to go get some workout clothes. I will say that. If somebody want my cash app, it's that dollar sign with trap, T-R-A-P, Royale, R-O-Y-A-L-E. I will take the money. If you make a donation and go get some workout gear, um, so feel free to make a donation to my cash app. Y'all know what it is. I don't have to put it up again. If you know it, you know it. But enjoy yourself. Be blessed. And if you have a question, you can always inbox me. Y'all know I always go through the thread and try to respond to everybody. Um, it's Friday. Don't do nothing stupid to get yourself fired. Um, and whatever you do, don't eat nobody's food out of the refrigerator. That's going to piss people off. But enjoy the rest of y'all day, and, uh, and I'll holler.